me again D and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to do another tutorial and this is in connection to my previous cup cut tutorials. Today, I will talk about keyframes. So if you guys are interested, keep on watching because D explores cap cut. Before anything else, what is a keyframe? A keyframe in video editing is a frame that denotes or signifies the start and end of any changes with respect to a certain set of parameters. So what are these parameters? Each quality of a video that you can adjust with keyframes is called a parameter. These include the anchor point, position, scale, rotation, and opacity. In some cases or in some video editing tools, a parameter may also include sound volume. But since we will only use the CapCut app, I will be focusing on what can be done in the app. Using keyframes will allow you to change positions, scale clips, and customize opacity. This is how the keyframe looks in the app. It's a diamond shape with a plus sign. Now open the app and import the clips you want to edit. First, I'll show you how I change the positions of the clip using keyframes. I'll show you the raw video that I took and the edited version at the side. I took a video while I was making my coffee. It was shot on portrait and I mounted my camera on a tripod. As you can see, it has no camera movements since it's mounted on a tripod. I didn't want it to be flat and boring so I used keyframes to mimic some camera movements, changing the position of my clip from top to bottom or left to right. Second is scaling. It's somewhat similar to changing the position of your clips. It's basically zooming in or zooming out of your clips. And if used with creativity, you can create amazing clips with just keyframes. You can start by adding a keyframe at the beginning of the clip with its original scale, then add another keyframe at the end with a slightly zoomed in frame. You can also create a dolly effect with keyframes. Just experiment with it. Lastly is customizing opacity. Although you can use a transition effect such as Dissolve, it's good to know that you can use keyframes to adjust the opacity of a clip. Aside from these, you can also use keyframes when adding a mask. The concept is similar to adjusting the position and feathering of the main clip or the overlay clip. So I hope you got a thing or two from this tutorial. If you guys want me to do more CapCut tutorials or if you want me to tackle about other video editing apps on your mobile phones, then let me know by leaving a comment below. And if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Share if that's something that you like, and if you're still not part of this community, then don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell beside it so you'll get notified whenever there's a new video up on this channel. And I hope to see you on the next one. Keep exploring! Bye!